Did you know that male donkey is called a jack, a female a jenny, an offspring less than a year old a foal? If the offspring is male, it's called a colt, and a female a filly. These names sound way much better than the beast of burden. There are nearly 2 million donkeys in Kenya, with three quarters of them being used for transport of goods and people, farming activities both for household operations and income generation. They provide an important support system, especially for women. Mary Wamboi Mude from Kirinyaga County knows these too well. I have come a long way with my donkeys. Back in 2005, I was arrested by Kendat for beating my donkey to the extent of wounding it, and that's when I learned that donkeys have rights. I was able to build my house and educate my kids through earnings from the work I do with my donkeys. It makes me really sad when I hear that donkey slaughterhouses are reopening. It makes me really sad when I hear that donkey slaughterhouses are reopening. I am a role model here and I have been urging other donkey owners to unite and follow my footsteps. To appreciate the work that the donkey is doing for the donkey owning communities, especially now that many communities, many donkey owning communities have gone through a lot of challenges in terms of pandemics, in terms of adversities like um, innovation by locusts, there are places where we have had uh, floods, places we have had drought, and now the most recent pandemic, uh, that is uh, COVID-19. The donkey has been very instrumental in helping communities cope with the situations that have come. Unfortunately, these humble jacks and jennies are at a great risk of being stolen and slaughtered for their skins and meat. Why, you may ask, since it is not a common tradition for Kenyan communities to eat donkey meat. The gelatin in their hide is a key ingredient in the prized Chinese traditional medicine called Ijiao. Gelatin is a protein obtained by boiling skin, tendons, ligaments and bones and is used to make cosmetics such as shampoo and face masks. According to the Kenyan Network for Drought Animal Technology, Kendat, the insatiable demand for donkey skin is causing untold suffering to donkeys and risking the livelihoods of millions of people who depend on them. The donkey has been a tool, uh, has been, not really a tool, the donkey has been a helper for many communities. For example, uh, many people lost their jobs and many of these people went back to the villages and they relied on donkeys' income. You know, there are people working elsewhere, but they have donkeys. So the incomes from donkeys have, su have supported people through these uh, uh, the times of pandemics. Uh, many people are faced with the challenges when drought come, especially uh, lack of water or shortages of water. And donkeys have been used to go to the rivers go to the water points to bring water for the people and especially uh, children and women. Uh, donkeys have also been able to move people from places where which have been affected by floods, places that have been affected by, by um, instabilities. Uh, you remember uh, when people are being evicted from Mau uh, forest, there were many people they are who are moving and they used donkeys to move their belongings. So donkeys have been very instrumental in helping people in all these kind of situations. Sisi kama wafugaji wa puna nchini Kenya, tukona haki ya kusema yale ambayo tunataka na puna wetu. Na tumestuka zaidi kuona kwa mahakimu na mahakama yetu kanchini Kenya. Imeamua uh, kinyume na mapendekezo yetu ama kinyume na matakwa yetu. Tangu kifu, uh, vichinjua vifungwe, tunaona kwamba 
hakuna punda ambaye amesha chinjwa hata moja. Hiyo ni kudhihirisha ya kwamba eh, hizi uh, hii nyama ambayo ilikuwa inachinjwa vichakani ilikuwa inachinjwa wanapelekwa huko kwa viwanda ambazo wanachinja punda. Lakini tangu E, zifungwe hakuna hata mpunda moja amepatikana na amefariki mahali hadi kwamba kuna kakasi ambazo zinaonekana vichakani kwamba mpunda kuna punda zime hata kuibiwa hakuna hata moja hata unaweza thibitisha kwenda katika police station zetu Donkey slaughter was legalized in Kenya in 2012 leading to a rapid decimation of the animal's population and cross border theft. This was later banned in 2020 and again lifted recently by the High Court in Naivasha. With this, activists and donkey owners in the country say a resumption of donkey theft, slaughtering of underage donkeys, cross border smuggling and most importantly communities losing their livelihoods is inevitable. <laughs> The population of donkeys, as we know it, uh, and as per the government records, uh, the census done in 2009 indicated that there were about 2.8 million donkeys in Kenya. So, and then uh, other surveys that have been done uh, before uh, uh, 2016 indicated that the, indicated the donkeys had increased to about 1.9 million. Uh, but when the slaughterhouses were licensed and they started operations in Kenya uh, in 2016, the donkey population started declining. And the census that was conducted by the government in 2019 indicates that there are about 1.1 donkeys. So you can see the big decline after the slaughterhouses were opened. <laughs> Here in Moya, donkeys play a very important role in rice farming and fetching water. We are therefore asking the government to end donkey slaughter for good. Nituramera takono matuigwiretha, tarimika na tawanjiko, mamathuraga mamahuragira kura makamathura. Marihinge kithinjiro getha bunda itigatuike cia guthinjo. We are at pain and we have to shelter our donkeys to protect them from theft. kabisa. <laughs> nikiongelea kwa niaba ya madaktari wenzangu vile vile vichinjio vya punda vimefungulia punda wanadidimia kwa hivyo mimi napinga ufunguzi wa viwanda vya punda jinsi hizi punda zinaekelea tunapata kazi tunaweza ku feed our families so as for me mimi nasema hizo viwanda vya punda vifungwe according to their chairman Cyrus Gitonga Owning donkeys has managed them to afford school fees, better health care and access to better food. Kwanza uh, punda ni saizi inatoka about 15 15000. Na kuna punda watatu. Na kila siku ninaona ninaenda nyumbani na kitu 1000. Nimefanya biashara hiyo kwa muda wa takriban miaka saba. Saizi nimeweza kununua plot. Uh, nimeweza kusomesha watoto wangu uh, moja kwa Zitek University na nafurahia hii biashara sababu kuu ambayo nilipata kuchagua biashara hii niliona kwamba kama ningelikuwa ghali eh, singeweza kununua sababu ya capital pesa zangu zingeweza kutosha njambo la pili kama tukienda katika habari ya kuweka mafuta punda we aisaili kwenda katika petrol station ili weke mafuta njambo la pili hakuna oil ambayo inabadilishwa kuna wakati usikie kwamba hii chini imefa, imeharibika njambo la tatu ni kwamba hata license hakuna kuitishwa na serikali njambo la ine hata kama ni medical hakuna njambo uh, hata lingine zaidi insurance hakuna ni hali tu ya kuwa uh, fikila zako zote ziko sawa na uko serious na hii biashara na lugha yako ni nzuri kwa customer zako na pia uko mtu ambaye ni timamu kabisa 
si tukiwa kama mavijana eh hapo kitabu tulikuwa na bia vingine mbaya madre nini tulikuwa tunazitumia lakini kupitia conduct wakati organizer tukapata na kanda tukakuja tukafuzo mavijana hapa ni kwa moja wao about my drug venye madre wa ribu future ya mavijana maboy na ikafika press tukaona kama mavijana nikakusana mavijana hapa hivi hii press tuko inaitwa gedore bado nikakusana mavijana tukabonga na tukaacha hizo madre punda tuko nazo unaona saa hiyo madre saa ilikuwa mpaka punda tupati pesa ya kununua madawa pale hivi madre ikatuhepa punda sasa madawa kaza kupata